Greetings dear viewers, you are on the Global Battle Channel. In this issue, according to the results of voting and, of course, according to your requests, we have another confrontation between giants, or rather, super powerful robotic characters, Mechagodzilla from the movie Godzilla vs Kong, to fight with a detachment of Jaegers from the second part of the movie Pacific Rim, namely against the four main rangers, Steel Phoenix, Defender Bravo, Blade of Athena and Tramp Avenger, I would like to appeal to you, please, those who have not yet subscribed to the channel, then be sure to subscribe, and do not forget to click on the bell, so as not to miss new releases, and if you do this, you will not lose anything, since new videos on this channel are coming out regularly, yes, I understand that everyone has already got you with this request, it is very easy for you to do this, and it will motivate me and the channel will develop. So support me and let's get started. Briefly about the characters and let's start, perhaps, with the detachment of Jaegers. These are giant humanoid man combat robots created to protect the population of the Earth from attacks by giant Kija monsters, and more specifically, Due to the inefficiency of modern weapons, with the exception of nuclear weapons, the use of which was categorically rejected by world leaders these fighting machines were the only ones that could withstand the giant alien monsters that were so eager to capture and destroy the planet. Well, as always, and now consider Mechagodzilla or just Mecha. This mechanical titan from the universe of the monster version was created by the Apex Corporation, which, using the head of the defeated Ghidorah, managed to improve it and this mechanical monster was supposed to end the reign of the titan namely to end Godzilla, but for this the inexhaustible energy was required and this energy was discovered in the Hollow Earth, in the homeland of all the Titans, having obtained this energy, and charged Mechagodzilla with this, the mind of the Ghidorah takes control, and this mighty steel giant comes to life destroying everything in its path, consider the characteristics, it is clear that Mechagodzilla surpasses all rangers in height and weight, if we compare Mecha with ordinary Godzilla, then the first was higher, and Godzilla's height at that time was 120 meters, and the height of the rangers ranged from 75 to 85 meters the difference is significant, although this can be balanced by the fact that the Gamer Keepers are outnumbered, in terms of speed and maneuverability, the Jaegers will be more convincing here, since some models are equipped with jet boosters, and could perform some tricks that the mechanical monster could hardly repeat. Yes, he also had accelerators on his back and sides, but still he does not reach the required level. In terms of weapons, Jaegers and Mechagodzilla are equipped with the most advanced weapons for both close combat and range. It is clear that power and efficiency will play an important role here. For example, long-range cannons and heavy machine guns of Jaegers were not so effective against Kijum, and against Mechagodzilla it will be the same. As for the energy whip, plasma cannon, gravity sling and iron blades, with these weapons they can at least somehow damage Mechagodzilla, what can counter the mech? It also has rocket launchers, but they won't be as effective against the Jaegers as they can just dodge them. Apart from the heavily armored ones they were quite slow, but most of them still won't get hurt. But Mechagodzilla also has the most powerful weapon. This is a red proton beam, which Godzilla with his atomic breath could not resist. But that's not all. Mechagodzilla was able to charge his fist with plasma, which Godzilla and Kong could not resist. The fact that Jaegers they won't be able to resist either. In terms of strength, the Jaegers will be inferior to Mechagodzilla. He withstood the powerful blows of Kong and Godzilla. They could not damage him in any way, while the Jaegers could be divided in half by Newton's drones and the most ordinary Kijun. Let's finish with the intellect. It is important to note that the intelligence of Mechagodzilla depends on who controls it. From the new film it was controlled by Ghidorah, who was not entirely distinguished by a brilliant intellect, and sought only to destroy and destroy everything in his path. As for the Jaegers, they were controlled by people who have vast experience in the fight against monsters and I think the Jaegers will have an advantage here although Ghidorah was capable of subduing other beings I doubt that his mind controlling Mechagodzilla was also capable of it
And so, let's find out who would win. Mechagodzilla significantly outnumbers all the Jaegers in size, but the Jaegers outnumber them. And everything can start with a long-range battle by opening fire from different types of weapons, and Mechagodzilla will probably miss. Jaegers can dodge, but the Steel Titan cannot be avoided, but strength and armor are critical here. But as soon as it comes to close combat, the Jaegers may get into trouble, as they are inferior in strength Mechagodzilla can break them. And if the Jaegers use intelligence to act together and move faster and attack suddenly, then Mechagodzilla will probably withstand all attacks, so how, again? It has superior strength and uses its tail, on which a powerful drill is installed, with the help of it, Mecha can pierce the head of the Jaeger, that is, the cockpit of the pilots and kill them. If the battle again spills over to a long distance and the Jaegers open fire from all barrels and for some reason they manage to somehow harm the mechanical monster, then it can use a proton beam from which none of the Jaegers will remain in service. Bottom line, in a spontaneous battle, Mechagodzilla will definitely win, yet the huge size of this steel titan will decide the outcome of the battle and, of course, will be stronger. But Mechagodzilla can be stopped by disconnecting from the control center, so that all the Mecha Jaegers cannot be destroyed. But only four Jaegers participated in our battle, and they will not be able to stop this mechanical monster in the end. So in today's episode, Mechagodzilla wins. Yes, I forgot to say that Mechagodzilla was hacked to death by Kong with his axe made of titanium bone, which he charged with Godzilla's atomic breath. I don't think the Jaegers have a weapon like that with that kind of energy. Dear viewers, as always, you can name your option who would win. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.